Hi loves, Jay here with your March to April tarot predictions for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you have Libra anywhere in your chart, cross watchers are also welcome. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you're old or new here, welcome back and welcome to the community. Be sure to stick around to the end so you don't miss your final outcome. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, all of my info is in the description box below. I'll be channeling spirit messages throughout this reading. So let's tap into your collective insights in which I am hearing for you, Libra. You don't need to worry about this. So if there's something that you currently worried about, your guides and angels are reassuring you that you don't need to worry about this, that you got this girl is what I'm hearing. You got this girl, okay? <laughs> All right, never say never. Spirit is reminding you did that as well, okay? And don't be misled is what I'm hearing. I don't know if that's by someone or a situation, but don't be misled. Spirit is reminding you from reminding you of that as well. So I'm going to get all your cards out here, Libra, and then we're going to clarify each of these. We have the Fool coming out, the Eight of Pentacles, the Universe, the Princess of Disc, the Ace of Cups, the Star, the Ace of Disc, and we have the Five of Pentacles. Okay? All right, so let's hop right into your most recent energy that you've been experiencing and if you know me some of you don't if you're new here i don't stay in the past for too long me and the past are not best friends okay so we'll we'll, we'll skim through this really quick we have the full so it definitely feels like you guys have started something new on a journey to something not sure what that journey is but i'm going to pull some cards around that to see what's coming up for you but i'm also being reminded with this is to not be misled okay so reminding you of that never say never don't be misled and you need to not worry about whatever this is i'm hearing i want to be free the eight of wands is coming up for you so this could be some of you have either relocated you've traveled somewhere else or you started a new job or you started a new relationship. It definitely feels like things have unfolded for you quickly and you may have just jumped into something without, you know, you dove in head first and maybe you didn't think too much about it. Are you regretting something right now? Are you um you you're feeling you're feeling something around this is what is what's coming up for me. The Ten of Cups. So this could be a relationship or this could even be emotions that we're talking about here. Definitely feels like layers to this whatever this is that you have just recently started where you're I'm feeling just an uncertainty that is coming up for you Libra okay because I definitely feel like with the eight of wands here that things happen really rather quickly between you and someone so maybe you'd moved in with someone most recently or you moved into a relationship or you moved out of a relationship whatever this is it happened really fast but I'm again feeling this energy of a little bit of uncertainty that is coming up but it feels like you did it for love whatever this is okay I'm gonna pull one more card around that the Prince of Wands yeah <laughs> so we have the Prince of Wands and the Eight of Wands so it definitely feels like you have made some progress in the love department, but I do feel like there may have been a little bit of rushing into something that, you know, you're having some doubts about or you're just not sure. You know, you're a, you're an air sign, so if you it's like you are wanting things planned out. Some of you are very free flowing, but it feels you feels like you're you're very um, analytical about things, so it feels like things. Maybe you didn't plan out normally like you normally plan out. And so just things just sort of you rushed into it and it is what it is. OK, so we'll see what else is coming up around this. But it definitely feels like a relationship that we're we're, we're talking about here. It definitely feels like whatever this is, you had your heart in it and you were just like, F it, let's just do it. Let's take the next step. OK, so whether that could be, like I said, moving in, you could have got engaged, you could have got married, you could have you know, you're pregnant, something, okay? But I definitely feel like it is something that is new. So that's most recent energy. Let's get your overall energy for the month. We have the Eight of Pentacles, okay? So I feel like you have been keeping a close eye on something or you've been watching someone or someone could be watching you. This is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Um, but I definitely feel like you've been working on yourself working on a relationship as well okay and i'm hearing time is of the essence <laughs> this is where that logical that analytical mind is kicking in for you um libra some of you are on a time limit and there is no time limit okay time is fluid 
the universe knows no time, but it's always on time. But it definitely makes me feel like you have, like the clock has been ticking for something. And you're just like, I, I got to have it. I got to do it. So could this be the reason why some of you rushed into something? Because you feel like you it was time for you to do it. You just had to bite the bullet and do it. I'm not sure. Let's see what's coming up here. Because I'm getting this um, uh, very picky energy from you as well. The alchemist is coming up for you. So I, I'm, I'm feeling with this is that um, I'm feeling some change, but I'm, I'm feeling it's something that you've manifested. Okay, so this could be in a very positive direction for you as well. It's something that you've manifested, something that you have, you know, <laughs> Uh, dotted your I's and crossed your T's, you know, you have planned out, you have, you know, it's almost like creating that vision board and everything's on it and you're just, you're just putting some of the pieces together like, okay, yeah, I'm just going to put this in this person in this place and that person in that place just to fulfill the vision board in a way. So I'm going to pull another card on this before I speak. The Queen of Cups energy and the Ace of Pentacles. So definitely feels like you are creating something new. And I feel like I feel a, a very, I feel like you're gifted. I feel like you're gifted at whatever this is. This can be a relationship. This could be project, career, whatever, you're building your money in, in some sort of way. But I definitely feel like something that you have been working on manifests, comes to fruition. There is a very strong connection here. Queen of Cups energy. I feel like this is your energy of embodying, embodying this. Like <laughs> I'm looking at her and, you know, she's she's kind of giving me this energy like that's mine. My man, my man, my man. OK, whatever this is. OK, I, I definitely feel like you're in this place of like I am building. OK, I, so I feel like you took a leap of faith. That's what you did in the most recent past. The most recent energy is. You took a leap of faith on love. That's what it feels like. Or you took a leap of faith into a new job or a project or whatever this is, a new business opportunity to create financial stability for your life. But I definitely feel like it is something new and you're like, it's mine. I'm passionate about it. I love it. I'm going to put my all into this because this is, it's meant for me. That's what I'm feeling. So it definitely feels like it could go back and forth with career finances or your love life. However, it fits for you make it fit but don't force anything but I definitely feel like someone may have come in and, and giving you something okay giving you something to help you to help you grow in a way they have nourished <laughs> and flourished your garden okay so I feel like they've poured into you because again I'm feeling like you're embodying this queen of cups energy other your air energy I'm feeling like this very emotional energy coming from this but I definitely feel like there's a level of trust and happiness and growth and you could see a future together with this person. So whatever this is, you have been paying a lot of attention to it. You took a leap of faith on something and it definitely feels like things can work out in your favor. We have the universe coming up in your obstacle challenge position. Let's see what's coming up here. Let's get into this energy here. Because I feel like there could be, you could be a little afraid of some of the change. Um, and I'm, I feel like I'm speaking to people who are just recently getting into a relationship where you may feel like I, I'm used to my independence. I'm used to my freedom. And to have that limited scares me a little bit is what I'm, what's what I hear. The Prince of Swords. Because it feels like things are happening so fast. Like, and I don't know because it's like this Prince of Swords, that's energy of you, you could be forcing things. This is a very forceful energy. So it gives me, a, I'm, I'm kind of confused because maybe there's just different scenarios of some of you being madly in love and some of you are feeling like I'm on the timeline and I found someone who fulfills me in certain ways and let's just lock it down. So the energy, there's, I feel like there are maybe a couple groups that I'm talking about here. But this, because this Prince of Swords is definitely, you're forcing, trying to make things work. 
and maybe against your will or maybe against the universe's will, which is why the universe is here, which is also the world card and the traditional tarot, that you're trying to like make things happen. And when you try to make things happen, yes, they are. They can definitely come to fruition, but they don't last long. Okay. The four of wands. So yeah, I definitely feel like you're forcing something. Some of you, this is not going to resonate with everyone. I'm feeling like you're forcing something to happen, forcing a, a commitment or agreement, forcing um, a marriage or forcing love or, and it, it doesn't have to be that way, but it definitely feels like a forceful energy here that you're trying to create things and make things work. Princess of Swords. So, yeah, your energy surrounding this wands, your energy surrounding this union, whatever this is that you're building with someone, I definitely, we got the prince and the princess, okay? So, this is exciting, spontaneous, can be erratic energy. It could be um, young love. It could be love that is temporary it could just be the 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 initial sparks that you're feeling at the beginning of something but there's something in you there's something in your universe something in your inner universe that's saying that maybe i rushed into this maybe i forced this maybe it's not going to work but it makes me feel like there's a lot of thoughts that you have around whatever this is that you're doing and maybe you're not 100 percent sure about this being the right decision for you. So I feel like that's something that you face, that you want to feel free, you want to feel happy and adventurous, and you want to do all of these things and you want love, but make sure it's not forced. So that may come up for you during this time frame of questioning if this was the right decision for you, okay? So where you're headed is the princess of discs. We have, um, we just had the prince and the princess of wands. So now we have the disc where I feel like some of you are you really focusing on creating a better life for yourself. So it makes me feel like um, this is, what was I going to say about this? Because it makes me feel like you're integrating your life, but you don't want to lose your freedom. That's what I'm getting from this. But I feel like there are things around you that makes you think like, oh, yes, that's what I want. It's like seeing, you know, seeing a couple standing on the corner and they look madly in love. They're kissing and they're hugging, waiting for the light to turn green so they can cross the street. And you're like, oh, that is so beautiful. That's what I want. It looks like a fairy tale movie. But it's like, do you really want that? Or do you just like the idea of it? Those are questions to ask yourself. Okay, I'm going to pull some clarifiers around this princess of disc. Feels like there could be things going on behind the scenes. And what that means for me is that things are going on with you internally that you may not be sharing. You're trying to figure things out. Queen of Wands coming up for you. So some of you are wanting to, you know, where you're heading is you want you're wanting the domestic life maybe is that you want someone to take care of you or you want things to be equal or you want to have more freedom you want to have love and freedom you want to have it all why not have your cake and eat it too um but i definitely feel like this is it's uh, it, it feels premature it feels premature for some of you that this this is a new feeling that you're in and you're like you're really you're really enjoying the moment of being there, but there's still some iffiness. I, I can't get over what I'm feeling, this iffiness of you're not quite sure. And it could be a beautiful thing for some of you. And for some of you, maybe your gut is speaking to you because it's not the right thing for you. I don't know how that's going to show up for you. So you guys are, some of you are wanting, you know, to build a family. With this Ace of Cups energy here, you're wanting to build a family. And first off, it's going to start with you finding someone that there's a mutual love and attraction and bond between the two of you so that you can build on that. So that's what this feels like. You want to build with someone, um, Libra. And you want to, you know, you want to... You want to start the family. You want to still have a career and you want to still make your own money. Like, 
there's a lot of things that I feel it's very complex that comes with you building a relationship with someone because there's still a level of you wanting your independence so that you can feel a sense of balance. Like you don't want to feel unbalanced. You are the scales. So you want to make sure that things are fair, even they're just all of those things. But you want to make sure that, again, you're in the driver's seat. That's what I'm feeling. You're, you want to be in the driver's seat of things. And that doesn't mean control. You just want to make sure that you're not losing yourself in something. Four of Pentacles may be something that you could be holding on to. Okay. Um, the Pentacles are about, you know, money. But I'm not, I'm not necessarily feeling career in this i'm feeling like you you know hold on holding on to things that are sacred to you you know maybe you got into a relationship where someone wants to care for you and you're like well i want to have a piece of myself so i want to go to work or even if i start going part-time from full-time to part-time i want to feel i want to have a piece of independence some of you are like i we can move in together but i'm going to keep my place too so that i can go back whenever I'm not wanting to be in your energy, okay? <laughs> so it feels like there's a, you want an equal give and exchange, but you, again, you don't want to lose your freedom. So that's what's coming up for you is, you know, finding some sort of happy medium where you could still experience the love and still build a family, but you can still have an independence, okay? So that's what's where you're headed. Then we have what's coming towards you is the Ace of Cups. So look, double confirmation, the Ace of Cups. So this is a lot of love around you, okay? You have a lot of love. You have a lot of support. Spirit is asking you to, to remain open to love. Remain open to love. Bring compassion, you know, compassion for the other person that you are bringing into your life to establish this foundation with, okay? So you may be developing new feelings as you come to a happy medium with still having your freedom and independence, as well as building a stable love and a long-term relationship with someone. Okay, so Spirit is also asking you to make sure that you, you use your intuition. For some of you, this is going to come up for you. That intuitive nudge on if you if this is the right thing, if you rushed into it, if, you know, moving forward that this is going to be the best fit for you so let's pull some clarifiers around this energy because i do feel like you're pouring into you're going to be pouring in a lot to to a relationship and there's going to be i don't want to say distractions but I, I feel like distracted by love where you're just kind of like then you get into this place of like uh, what should i do you know where you may not be able to hear your intuition because um there's so much love in your in your space but i feel like this is a beautiful thing like it doesn't seem like a problem at all for you libra to be surrounded and overflow with love and joy and happiness um and creating bliss in a relationship we have the lovers <laughs> look can i make this up okay what's coming towards you lovers energy so this is if we needed the confirmation for those of you who are resonating with the love this is a soulmate for you this is why it feels so powerful. It feels so strong. Some of you may even be feeling challenged if you're in a karmic soul soul tie, but it definitely feels like there's you balance each other out. There's a lot of growing growing together. There's a lot of passion and love. There's a lot of chemistry all across the board. It feels like this was divinely guided. This was in the divine order for you to have. So this is what's coming towards you. Okay. I feel like the two of you can be vulnerable with one another. There's a lot of sexual chemistry here too. But at the end, I feel like you're melding your hearts together. You're intertwining your lives. And maybe this is what some of you are fearing right now is intertwining your lives with someone because you have had your independence. Some of you are even blending families together. And there's a lot to consider in blending your families. Okay. But I do feel like spirit is bringing the two of you together. Five of swords, your energy of you feeling conf conflicted internally. And you may decide to turn your back because I feel like it's fear. It feels like fear that comes up for you, Libra. I don't think it has anything to do with the person Specifically, I just feel like you kind of get in your head space about, you know, is this the right thing for me? Like, am I rushing into it? Is this, you know, is this not right? Or on the other side of that, you may be feeling conflicted because there is so much tension and because some of you have been used to your independence being by yourselves and coming and going as you please. As you please 
there is a level of tension of you having to share your space with someone. Okay. <laughs> you having to share your space with someone and you're just kind of like, yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling that this is, this feels challenging and I'm used to things being easy in my own way, you know, having ease around things, but now I'm having to compromise. I'm having to consider another person. I have to make sacrifices. I'm not 100% sure, 100% sure if I'm okay with this yet. Okay. So these thoughts that are coming up for you where you're thinking about turning your back to this love, There's a lot of communication that is coming up. So for some of you, this could be spats that you could be having with your person as well. Um, but I definitely feel like at the end of the day, the foundation is based off of love. Nine of Pentacles energy. You can grow through this. Okay. You're going to go through it and grow through it. So you may choose to do that. And some of you may choose to walk away from this and be single because the Nine of Pentacles is a single card. But again, I feel like you may decide to, to go to grow through this because it's a soulmate energy. Oh man, let me connect my, my laptop. Sorry guys, give me one second. Yeah, so you may decide to walk away from something or you may decide to like, I'm going to grow this because love is our foundation and it feels strong. I've never experienced this before. It feels real, it feels authentic to my spirit and we're both willing to fight through whatever issues that may arise. But it, again, those issues could be internal issues or there could be little spats that you're having here. But it definitely, because the lover's card is here, this supersedes the little spats, okay? <laughs> Definitely supersedes the little stats that may be coming up, the conflict that may that may be coming up. So you're going to have to figure out, do I work through this or not? Okay. And some of you are going to decide to work, walk through it. Some of you work through it. Some of you are going to decide, decide to, um, that your independence is your priority and your, your number one priority and your number one um, goal. Okay. So that's what's coming towards you. What's happening in your very near future? We have the star. Aquarius energy here. This I'm feeling like holding off. You're holding off on something. Okay. You're holding off on something. Some of you are maybe feeling shattered. Maybe some of you may be trying to put the pieces back together. Some of you may be trying to. And the word force is coming up again too. Or trying to see through. Trying to see through some of the flaws that are coming up. Maybe you're trying to see through your flaws, the other person's flaws. Ten of Swords. Mm. Okay. So there could be an ending that could be coming up because maybe there was some sort of dis deceit or betrayal that, that came up. And maybe this is just you feeling tired. This could even be a health issue of you just feeling physically debilitated. But... I feel more like a, a healing energy. There's something that you're going to have to heal from here. And I don't know if that's those are things from the past. Because it's the Ten of Swords, it makes me feel like you had to go through zero to nine to get to ten. So it makes me feel like it's something that you've been going through that you needed to overcome. And it, and it took a lot of energy out of you, took a lot of time, took a lot of growing, took hurt and pain. So that means that you went through all the swords zero through I mean one through you went through one through nine to get to ten it makes me feel like it's something that you had already been going through that you're going to have to heal from you're going to have to let go you're going to have to let go of okay so are you letting go of your person or are you letting go of your thoughts and emotions the the will you will you have the will to change this <laughs> Is what spirit is saying. You have the will to change this. Okay. So we have the star and the will. Two major arcana. So this is a time for renewal. This is a time for taking your power back. This is a time for you to be the star of your show. I'm hearing commanding something. So some of you are commanding your power back. Because you've been debilitated with this ten of swords. Um, you're demanding something. Okay. Okay. You're demanding to be seen. So it definitely feels like a cycle. It could be a karmic cycle that is coming to a close that you're going to need to heal from. And for some of you that are walking away from this relationship, those of you that may have been in a karmic soul tie with this person, there's a lot of love there, but it feels very challenging. 
often and you're constantly battling one another, it definitely feels like that comes to an end and things begin to change, but it feels like a cycle comes to an end, okay? So this, that's what that feels like in this star position here. And some of you may just be overcoming some of your limited beliefs so that you can make this relationship work, okay? Because it feels like there is a lot going on. It definitely feels karmic and it feels you know, like it feels like a karmic for those of you who are constantly going through challenges it is a lesson that you need to learn in this relationship and karmic for those of you who have you know m met your past soulmate from past life like you're you're picking up where you left off and the love is abundant but you still have to go through life you still have to let go of things that have happened to you in life okay so i definitely feel like it's a renewal pr um a renewal phase for you where you're just you're you're strengthening your bond you're finding a peace of mind in the decisions that you make you have faith in that this is going to work for you you're trying to rebuild you're healing you're feeling positive um you're just trying to bring the light back into your relationship or the light back into your life because things have been dark and this is definitely confirmation with the clouds parting the sun is the sun is uh, the sun is setting, but there's still light there. There's still hope there is what I feel with you and someone. Okay. So even though it may feel dark and it feels challenging at times, there's still light that shine that's shining on the on, on the two of you. Okay. Your advice for the month is the ace of disc. And I think this is the second time. Yes, we pulled the ace of pentacles in your overall energy, which was opportunities of prosperity and abundance, breakthroughs um financial opportunities that could be coming in but you're manifesting abundance in your life manifesting new love and like growing okay growing on, on a new level so this is coming out again in your advice is to allow, you, allow yourself to grow um you don't have to take on everything is what spirit is saying you don't have to take on everything this makes me feel like you have someone there supporting you to go through some of the things that you are going through and um, to lean upon that because you don't have to do it all yourself. But I do feel like life is changing for you in a, in a very beautiful way with this Ace of Disc here. Let's pull some clarifiers. I'm feeling going through different cycles. <clears throat> Excuse me, going through different cycles as well. Queen of Swords, your energy. I definitely feel like you're changing in some sort of way. You're you're developing a, a an insight. You're you're. It's like. I feel like you're shifting the way that you communicate in in a way. And maybe this is necessary for you and your person in, in finding ways to communicate with one another. Princess of Pentacles. I'm hearing too with with this, some, some of you are working on a relationship with a child. This Princess of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn could be anyone, male or female. I feel like you're working on working through something. And for some of you, this is just in your relationship. You're working through something with someone. We have air and logic and, you know, bringing some of the things that you think about and talk about, like you're bringing that into your relationship. Okay. So some of you may even be seeking counseling or maybe counseling is probably a good thing for some of you going to see a therapist so that you can work through some of the issues that you've been holding on to. Because remember that four of pentacles came out. But this Queen of Queen of Swords is giving me therapist issues. So for some of you are needing to work through childhood or teenage issues in order to bring some prosperity in, in order to manifest abundance in your life or in this relationship. Okay, you need to develop foresight, um, per, different perception, also setting boundaries. Some of you may be repeating cycles in your relationships which may feel challenging for you. It may feel karmic because it's like the same thing that's happening over and over again. And it feels like your way hasn't working. 
So it feels like you may need to bring a facilitator. That's what I'm getting from this Queen of Swords, like someone who is a professional and that can help you work through some of these issues. I feel like it's going to give you different perception. And I, I feel like it's going to help you grow in a way that you really didn't see coming, okay? Remember, Spirit is saying, you don't need to worry. You got this, okay? You don't need to worry. You got this. So that's what I'm feeling for that. You're working through something. And I feel like it's a new start for you. Eight of Pentacles is coming out for you reversed. This is all about self-development. And that's what Spirit is asking you to focus on your self-development. Because some of you may have been feeling... Uh, misled, remember that energy came up, misdirected, lack of passion, uninspired, unmotivated in some way. But I feel like you need a spark and you need a spark in order to keep going. Okay, so what is that spark for you? Because there is manifestation that is laying on the line for you. And Spirit is saying, don't miss this opportunity. And as I'm feeling things in my throat, you need to talk about things. You need to talk about things. You need to let it go so that you can move forward. This, this princess of, of pentacles energy is also letting me know that the universe is working for you behind the scenes. You're responsible for your actions and your actions, your actions and your rea reactions. Um, but you are, you know, this is letting me know you, like I'm feeling like you're also embodying this princess of pentacles. Like you're kind, you're supportive, you're, you know, you're a manifester. You're someone who dreams big. And I feel like you want this dream of love to, to be abundant and to be long term in your life. And you're willing to do the work. So Spirit is saying to do the work so that you can get back on track. You can get back on track to fully engulfing yourself and experiencing the love. Your final outcome is the... Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is about loss and worry and fears being being left out in the cold. Could also be health issues for you as well. But let's pull some clarifiers around that. We have the devil. Okay, so this is addictive energy, sabotage, all of these things. This, this is clarifying this Five of, of Pentacles that it feels unhealthy. Whatever this is that you may be attached to okay so this could be a person these could be your thoughts where you keep you know you're manipulating people you're self-sabotaging yourself or you're sabotaging yourself um or you know health sex addictions uh alcohol addiction addictions um porn anything that that is in excess okay that Ugh, the Empress, okay, Taurus, your Libra, Libra energy as well. So we have two major arcanas, the devil against the Empress. That don't make sense. <laughs> it, don't, it don't make sense. So some of you are going to have to untether yourself from something that you know isn't healthy for you so that you can really flourish in life. So I am also going to recommend that some of you may need to see your physician, maybe get some testing done just to rule out anything because that five of, when I keep looking at that five of pentacles, I keep thinking about your health in some way. So for some of you, that is going to be seeing a physician, your internist to get checked about what something, if you have been experiencing some sort of physical ailment, and for others of you, that's going to be seeking therapy to talk about things, to let go some of these addictions and these cycles and patterns that you have found yourself in that's not allowing other things to manifest and unfold. Wow, three major arcanas. The star. So you're going to be focusing on yourself and healing. So part of your advice is to get checked, seek therapy if you need it so that you can really renew okay so that you can really get this spark back in your life so you could feel whole and complete because some of you again with that eight of pentacles reverse may have been feeling unmotivated feeling restricted in some sort of way feeling like you can't see clear because there's something this devil energy 
that keeps holding you back. And if some of you are just binded by this, and you may even be unaware that something keeps holding you back. This could even be in the form of people as well. But these are behaviors and, you know, behaviors, people, whatever it is is keeping you bounded. It's time to let that go. So get the help that you need is what Spirit is saying. I also want to pull one last message for you from the universe to see what the universe has to say to you, my beautiful Libras. One message for Libra, please. Time to make a demonstration. Time to make a demonstration. The universe says the older the soul, the softer the glance, the quicker the smile, and the sooner to say I love you. They also skip and wink more than normal and hold hands with those they walk beside. Utterly fearless, the universe. Time to make a demonstration. Okay, that is your reading, Libra. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell, the all notification bell. Comment below if any parts of this resonates with you. Like, share, com share with your family and friends. Uh, enjoy the rest of your month. I will see you guys very soon. Many blessings and love and light to you, Libra. Peace.